Once we've brought the data into Alteryx, we can go ahead and begin preparing the data for data analysis by first cleaning the data and then secondly preparing it in whatever other ways we need to transform the data. We're going to begin by cleaning the data set, and since we're preparing the data at this point, we're going to work with the preparation menu, which is found right next to the in-out menu. Clicking on the preparation menu allows us to see the tools that are available to us for preparing our data. We're going to begin by using the data cleansing tool. When you select that and start to drag it onto your canvas, you're going to find that a connection is automatically being made, that's that dashed line that you see, between the output anchor of the previous tool and the input anchor of the new tool. If you don't want that connection to be made, you can simply click on the connection itself and hit the delete button to get rid of it. And let's say that you did decide that you wanted the connection to be made. Well, then you can go ahead and click once on the output anchor from the previous tool and drag that over to the input anchor of the new tool and the connection will be established again. This automatic connection allows us to have continuity between steps where we have what was done in the previous step transfer over to what is going to be done or what is effect being affected by the new step. The data cleansing tool has a number of preset configurations to help people with the data cleansing. The first preset configuration that we see is that we can choose to either cleanse the entire data set or if there are specific fields that we don't want to cleanse, then we can go ahead and select out of cleansing those fields by unchecking the boxes next to the fields that we would like to not be cleansed. For this case, we want to cleanse all the fields, so go ahead and reselect those fields or leave them selected if you haven't touched it. The next option is to replace nulls with either blanks if they were read in as string fields or zeros if they were read in as numeric fields. You really want to think about whether this default or preset configuration is appropriate for your data set because sometimes it is the case where if you're going to replace a numeric va value that's missing with a zero, you could end up skewing your underlying data. For this data set, it is perfectly fine to replace the nulls with either blanks or zeros, so we can go ahead and leave those default configurations. Finally, the last default configuration available under this tool is to remove leading and trailing white spaces. It is often the case that people put in extra spaces either to format a cell or just because they're trying to put in one space and they ultimately hit the, um, they hit the space bar two or three times. So it's okay to leave the leading and trailing white space configuration. Now that we've brought the tool into our canvas and we've configured our tool, we can go ahead and hit the run button to execute the task. When we do so, we start to see that the nulls that we had in the previous run of the data have now been replaced with blank fields because they were read in as strings. It's often necessary to use a tool multiple times. While the tools will have the same options, it allows you to execute steps sequentially instead of trying to do them all at once and avoids you running into some situations that can arise when you're trying to do too much with a tool at once. In this case, we're going to use the dating cleansing tool a second time. This time we can remove all of the default configurations except for the default configuration to select all fields. And what we're trying to do now is we're trying to remove punctuation. Going back to the previous data set by clicking on the output anchor, we can scroll down just a little bit and see that the number of returns is listed as 29,054. And we talked about this in the original video as we were going through the Excel spreadsheet. This number is actually being read in as a character because it has a mixture of both numbers and punctuation. If we don't cleanse out that punctuation, when we ask all tricks to view this as a number, it will only retain the numbers that precede the punctuation. So in this case, what that means is that for the number of returns for total migration, it would drop that number down from 29,054 to 29. And there is a little bit of a difference between those two numbers. To take care of this, we use our second data cleansing tool to go ahead and remove the punctuation. And since we have now configured the tool, we can go ahead and what we'll see is as we scroll down that the number 29,054 is now formatted as 29054.